live flexible and a balanced life. When you think better of others than yourself and have that servant's heart, you will actually improve the relationship between you that you have. I have thought of this day often since I was a young girl. I pictured myself getting married in this church. Who would come? Where my reception would be? What song I might dance to with my dad? And of course, what kind of dress I would wear. I never imagined, however, the person who would be standing across from me, because I knew whatever I imagined would be nowhere close to reality. You are my best friend and my soulmate, the one I was made for and who was made for me. I couldn't ask for anything more from the person I would be spending the rest of my life with. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature can separate you guys from the love that we have in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Remember that, hold on to that. It will carry you through the tough times. I think these speeches are generally supposed to be you talking about when you realize when the couple you know for sure that's a happy couple, that's gonna be a couple that lasts me that was actually the first time the three of us went golfing Julie was ahead of us and Keith and I were walking behind her Keith it just looks up at me and he goes ah, isn't she pretty and just at the time I was like yeah dude she's great but then the more I spent time thinking about what I would say today and right now that was the thing that kept with me and I realized that what it was is that that was real, that was real love. It's what that real love looks like. You know, that's what real happiness sounds like. I saw that on Keith, probably for the first time ever. Julie, I'd just like to thank you for making my friend so happy. And I'd like to thank you both for letting me be here today. Thank you very much. We've known each other since we were kids. My fondest memories with Julie are from high school. We were basically joined at the hip. Julie, you've found your other half. I'm so happy for you and Keith. You have both come into a new and exciting chapter of your lives. There's so much to look forward to together. You came as two, but you're leaving today as one. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Each day, I challenge you both to put God first and to love and respect one another. Love is what life is about. Always cherish that. Keep love in your minds and always in your hearts. family and friends of Keith and Julie. Thank you for being here this afternoon to both celebrate and honor and witness what God is doing in these two lives. God's presence is here with us this afternoon and in his presence we're about to witness is going to bind this relationship together in a covenant between them and the Lord Jesus Christ. As your wife, I vow to be honest and open with you, to forgive you as Christ has forgiven me, and to always remind you of God's love and promises. 
I promise to always be your biggest fan and your partner in crime. I vow to create and support a family with you in a household filled with laughter, patience, understanding, and love. I vow not just to grow old together, but to grow together in our love for God and each other. I vow to remain constant in my love through the difficult times as well as the easy. As I have given you my hand to hold so many times, so I give you my life to keep. Forever I devote my love and my life to you from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. From the very first time we met, I knew I had to do whatever it took to keep you in my life. Thankfully, the Lord showed me the way. I may have been nervous about finishing all the small details, nervous about making today everything that you would hope for, and even a little nervous that I won't always be able to bring that amazing smile to your face. But the thought of spending the rest of my life with you doesn't scare me at all. The last 10 months have been amazing. Working side by side with you and planning this day has been like a dream. Every day we worked to transform the barn into your fairy tale was beautiful. Every minute we spent together made me realize that all of it was the perfect lesson to teach us what marriage is about. We both had to put in hard work. We had to learn to work as a team and be there to comfort one another when we got overwhelmed. We had to have patience and understanding. The greatest lesson was knowing that we needed to hold on to that love through every obstacle and challenge we may face. I vow to forgive quickly. I vow to always try to see things from your perspective. I vow to always work together as one. And finally, I cannot vow to be a perfect husband. But I vow to love you with everything that I have from now until the end of my days. Because love is the best thing we do. Amen. It is my great honor this afternoon to be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. Keith, you may kiss your bride. It is my honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Keith Bull. Woo!
Father, again, we just say thank you that we could all be here and be a part of this joyous occasion, Lord God. Father, what a great time it is to celebrate, Lord God, Keith and Julie, Lord, and what you have planned for their future from this day forward. God, we pray that you would continue to bless our time as family and friends around these tables as we converse, catch up, and just share, Lord God, our stories. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, and everyone in the barn said, Amen. Amen. Amen.